Hey what's up guys and welcome to a new video and today I'm here to unbox my new camera so as you guys can tell probably from the quality of this video unfortunately my other camera is gone it's dead so um, luckily I got a new one and I'm here to unbox it sorry about the quality guys but don't worry the, any video that comes out after this will be in better quality thanks to this which we're unboxing now so now let's just go ahead and unbox it and find out what's inside so as you guys may know that I'm actually a huge fan of Nikon, hence why I got a Nikon again. So my last one was a D3300 and I kind of really like it. Let's start with a tiny box of the lens and find out what's inside. So this is just a standard 18 to 55 millimeter lens. So there's a lot of papers which I'll never read and never look at after this point. So it's pretty much literally exactly the same as the other 18 to 55 that came with my D3300, it's literally the same thing. Although this one does have that little like silver lining around it, which my other one didn't have, if that means anything to anyone, but yeah. So you move it from 18 to 50. This one's definitely harder to move around than my other one. The other one's much smoother. I think I kind of like that. I really do. Um, the thing is with this one, you guys have buttons, so you press every time you want to go all the way and lock it. So that's the lens itself. That's a typical lens, nothing special. And now moving on to the actual camera. So Nikon paperwork, which again I won't read. More Nikon paperwork I won't read. The camera itself, which I'll get to in a second. So we got strap. The bit that will go into the actual charger. Oh, this is lighter, a lot lighter than the 3300. Like a lot lighter, guys. This is actually feels really nice and light. I like it. So guys, that's everything you get in the D3400 package. So it'll come with the camera, the lens, battery, the charger for the battery, and the strap. So that about wraps up everything. Um, this is just going to be a quick unboxing. I'll do a review of this camera straight away once I use it after a few weeks. Because as far as I'm aware, it's very, very similar to the D3300, which I already had and have had for years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that thumbs up down below. Let me know down below if you guys have this camera or what you think of this camera. And if you're ready to see my full review, smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more content.